morning friends after the first episode of our dry eye series that is the symptom now you know whether you are a patient of dry eyes and what the symptoms you should look to know that you are a patient of dry eyes we will move to our second episode that is called understanding your dryness so what is a dryness there is a disturbance in your tears so it's not only the quantity of the tears but the quality of the tears so both quantity and quality disturbance leads to the dryness let's understand your tears tears has three layers the basal layer intermediate layer and the outermost oil layer there are different types of dryness different causes of dryness for you to understand i will speak about evaporative dryness which is now the most common and emerging dryness of this technological era so what is this evaporative dryness there are oil glands in our lower and upper lids these glands secretes this oil in medical term they are called meibomian glands and the disease related to is called meibomian gland disease so what happen when you are doing a long term computer work screen work your overall blinking decreases any kind of stress to the eye the physical or even a mental stress lack of sleep all these factor will lead to disturbance in this oil layer the blinking mechanism forms a very important and protective mechanism and regenerative mechanisms for this oil layer with every blink the glands get squeezed and the oil is released this oil lets it helps in prevention of evaporation of other layers similarly like the oil on the water it will decrease the evaporation rate of the water when these glands are disturbed because of the any causes which i just listed the oil layer is disturbed it is decreased in quantity and the quality is disturbed so your other layers gets exposed there is a more evaporation there form some multiple dry spots on your cornea and your surface and these dry spots prick you over period of time from the intermittent blurring of vision redness and the pricking sensation if the quality of your this layer and other tears is compromised from intermittent is moves towards the constant symptoms so you have understood how this dryness develop in your case do consult your ophthalmologist so that we can help you to resolve all this problem remember this is a reversible disease and we do have treatment for this disease so come forward let us help you for a better quality of life and we will move talk about how we evaluate your dryness in our third episode thank you